everybody, it's Ivy, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my new flip over pronto method. This is the same flip over, but I wanted to do it like a quick weave style. And here's a blast from the past. This is my old video from 2012, one of my most watched videos. And on this video, I'm showing you guys my original flip over method. I will have it linked below if you guys want to watch it. Oh, look at baby me. But yeah, this is the flip over pronto, okay? This is for people that want that same look but don't want to um, do a sew-in. Lately, I've been doing prontos more often than sew-ins, but you can definitely follow this method, um, you know, the same way if you want to just do a sew-in or whatever you want to do, but you can flip it any way you want, and that's why I really love this newer method. So this right here is the foundation of my pronto. The front area is gonna be my leave out and in the back, those are just my braids. I just did six jumbo braids. You don't need a lot of braids when you're doing a pronto, but this is how you want it to look. And you wanna make sure everything is pent up and nice and flat. So you wanna get some wig caps. I used two wig caps and I just applied that right on top of my braids and I stopped right in front of my braids um, and the area that's gonna be my leave out. So you just wanna make sure your cap is sitting perfectly, okay? And I do use two caps and you can kind of um, cut the cap a little bit if it feels a little bit too tight. I did go in and cut mine just a little bit around the perimeter because it did feel a little tight, but you wanna use two caps so everything is nice and protected. Now I'm just gonna go over that with some got to be spray. And I like doing this because it creates a barrier between the cap and your braids and it also keeps that cap in place. And then I took my um, blow dryer and just dry down that product. You wanna make sure it's nice and dry and this will ensure that your cap doesn't slip. Now I'm gonna take some Morning Glory um, Protective Shield, okay? And you just wanna put this right on the areas uh, where the glue will sit, right on top of the cap. I'm putting a nice amount around the perimeter because I don't want any glue to touch my natural hair. And I love this product because when I'm ready to take it out, all I have to do is um, apply water and the whole cap will slip right off, okay? And you wanna make sure you get that nice and coated around your edges because you don't want any glue on those sensitive parts of your hair. Now, ever since having Kyrie, you guys, my edges are so thin, like I don't know what's going on with my hair, but I like to use this product because it definitely protects them and it doesn't um, cause any tension or pulling. I really love this product. Please, if you're doing a quick weave and you don't use this, you definitely need to get some, you guys. It's like a miracle product. So the hair we're using today is from Yummy, and you guys know how much I love Yummy Extensions. I'm using their um, Raw Lao Lush Curly, and I used four bundles in 26 inches. And look at that gorgeous hair, you guys. Look at that bounce. Like, oh, it's so pretty. Here, I'm just showing you guys the wefts and how much hair you get in each bundle. It's super full. And now I'm just gonna measure and glue. So you wanna just um, measure around your head, starting at the nape and going all the way up. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did. Once you've went in and measured the um, length of the weft you want, you just wanna cut it and then apply your glue and then apply it to your head. And I'm showing you guys how I applied it. I didn't use a, um, a mirror or anything for the back of my head, I just went off filling you guys literally i just went off filling and you just want to do this until you reach um the middle of your head it's really simple if you need help just you know use a mirror behind you it's really simple you guys to do this pronto that's why i like doing this method sometime if i'm in a rush like <laughs> this is what i always always go to and you just want to continue adding those tracks and I know you guys might be worried, like, oh my God, you're putting glue on this super expensive, yummy hair. You guys, I'm gonna take this glue in out and I'm gonna use the same tracks to make a wig. Once you take the tracks off, it's hardly any glue left behind. So that's why I like this method. And the glue kind of seals your weft so you get less shedding. So don't be afraid to um, 
glue in your bundles and you can still reuse them and you can even reuse them and sew them in if you want to um do a sew in after you've done a prime toe so i'm just continuing to fill up my head with those tracks okay and now we've came to the middle and i'm going to take a light blue um eyeliner you can use any color but i like light blue just so i can um create a guide for myself for the area where we're going to lay our tracks vertically okay so you want to go ahead and um, finish laying your tracks horizontally until you reach the top where we marked off at. So I'm just going to continue laying my tracks, okay? I took my time and did this. It took me about, mm, I want to say about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour to just lay my tracks. And because I use four bundles, it, you know, it, it shouldn't have took that long. But if you're trying to, you know, squeeze all of your hair in your head, Definitely, it's going to take at least an hour to just um, install your wefts. Definitely going to take an hour just to install your first set of wefts, okay? So just keep adding your tracks, adding your tracks until you reach the area that we marked off. So we have completed laying all of our horizontal tracks. Now it's time to go in and lay the tracks vertically, okay? So you just wanna measure your track, cut, and then glue and place your track. And you just wanna do this vertically until you reach the other side of your head. And I'm placing my tracks very close together, you guys. That's the key to the flip over. You wanna place the tracks very close close together and with this method i actually do the uh vertical tracks a little bit longer i realized that when you do the tracks longer it makes for more volume in the top and that allows you to flip it either way or wear it all straight down so just take your time and go through and fill up this section once i'm done i'm going to come back and show you guys how to close off your pronto flip over So I'm halfway done and you guys, for time reference, it took about another hour to complete this part and I'm almost at the end. So what you wanna do is when you get to the ending mark, you wanna place your tracks very close together, you guys. This is very important. Not too many tracks to the point of where they're like directly on top of each other, but they need to be very close together. And you keep adding your tracks until it's hardly any space left, you guys. And it's no secret um, closing it up, you guys. You just want to keep laying those tracks very close together until you almost run out of space. As you guys can see right here, I'm about to go in and lay my very last track. And that's going to be um, closing up the flip over pronto, okay? So once you place that last track, you want to go in with your dryer. This is very important. Go in with your dryer and just dry everything down and use your finger just to press everything into place. You want to make sure this is tacked down really well so your flip over doesn't um, lift or move or any of the tracks slide out of place, okay? So I'm just applying some heat, applying some heat and pressing and applying heat until I feel like it's nice and dry and flat. Now I'm just going to use my dryer and, and fold some of that hair over and just use the heat from my dryer to train the hair to lay over the track so you won't see any wefts, as you guys can see me doing right here. 
so i'm pretty much done you guys with installing the hair it was really easy it was really easy you guys y'all can do this i know a lot of you guys said the regular flip over was kind of hard with sewing it so that's why i came up with this method because i figured that anybody can do the flip over pronto it should be super easy for you guys to achieve okay so we're done okay it looks nice and seamless have a look have a look beautiful next i went and co-washed my hair and you guys this hair is like i you guys it's like butter it's like it was so pretty and easy to co-wash no tangles no shedding and i'm using my behind the zone noodle head as my product and i'm just gonna apply a little bit in the hair now the hair doesn't really need this but i wanted to use it just to see how the hair reacts to using some product and the product works really good in the hair it helped define the curls and cut down some of the frizz that it may have and also added some shine now i'm using my brush just to detangle the hair and help form those beautiful curls you guys like i love this hair so much it's so soft and full and thick and just Oh, just luxury. I love Yummy's hair. Now I'm going to take my diffuser and we're going to diffuse the hair because I didn't want to sit around and wait for all this hair to dry, you guys. Like using a diffuser would be your best friend because it honestly helps define your curls. You get the best curl definition when you use a diffuser. Like the curls in this hair was popping and it didn't take that long to dry. This step took about, um, I want to say I was done drying my hair in about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes might be pushing it. So I'm going to say 15 and you guys, the hair was just so pretty and just, oh my God, this is definitely one of my favorite curly hairs. This is gorgeous gorgeous hair and it's not cheap y'all it's not cheap so if you're looking for like cheap hair this is not it this is luxurious hair you will have it for years you can reuse it and reuse it and reuse it that's why when i take this out i'm making a wig with it because you guys it's yummy hair come on so i'm almost done drying my hair okay so i'm almost done drying and once i'm done drying i am going to show you guys how i go ahead and blend the leave out but look at this hair you guys like gorgeous right so let's go ahead and blend our leave out i use my really small um half an inch flat iron and i'm just going to straighten out my edges and then I'm gonna curl them using my flat iron. That's literally all I do to blend. It's such a small amount of hair left out. You really don't have to do a lot to blend. It just, you know, blends right on in. I actually could have wet my hair and blended it in, but I decided to go in and do it like this because the hair is kind of, um, it's not a kinky curl, it's like an in-between curl. And I don't think my natural texture would have matched if I just wet it. So this is how I um, went in and blend. I just do like, you know, little spiral curls in my leave out and that definitely um, blended really well into the hair, okay? So I'm done blending and this is the end result, you guys. Like, I love this hair so much so much y'all like it's gorgeous and i know you guys have been wanting me to do another flip over so i hope you guys really love this video i hope you guys try out this hair and try out this new method because you guys it's amazing like a flip over in under two hours like yes we're loving it like look at that it is so gorgeous you guys like so cute and I love that I'm able to flip it any way. I can wear it down, flip left or right. And it's just everything. Like, I love the flip over method. Yes. So this right here is the end result, you guys. And look at this hair. So full, so pretty. Like, just everything, you guys. This is definitely the perfect spring and summer hair. But now I'm going to show you guys how I preserve my style at night. You just want to use a big old elastic and you want to put your hair up in a high ponytail. We call this a pineapple, okay? Put your ponytail up high on top of your head 
all right? This is gonna preserve your curls. And your leave out, I just wrap it with um, the really small flexi rods. This way you won't have to put heat on your hair every day. You just wanna um, flexi rod that leave out and then put on a scarf, go to bed. And when you wake up, girl, all you gotta do is fluff your hair, take your curlers out, and you're ready to go. So yeah, you guys, this is just another view of the hair. It's nice and full, like, and this is only four bundles, you guys. Like, look how much hair this, like, it looks like I have like six bundles in my head, but nope, it's only four bundles. And you guys, I just, this is the perfect curl. If you guys are interested in this hair, it will be linked below. Everything I use for today's video will be linked below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Let me know in the comment section below if you will be trying out this method. And once again, if y'all didn't know, I am the creator of the flip over method. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. But now, you guys, again, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to comment subscribe click that bell icon so you're notified every time i post and i will see you guys in the next video because i'm back okay i'm back <laughs> bye guys